Blood streams from the left eye of Sullivan Barrera. We're going to mute it right there. Um, let me show y'all can see Harold's scorecard. You know, Sullivan Barrera won the fight. Um, it was an entertaining fight. I can't say it was a great fight, but it was an entertaining fight. There were three low blows, uh, well, three point deductions for Felix, uh, Felix Verrera. The referee, I forgot his name, um, did show some leniency, you know, by not stopping the fight when he said he would. There was a knockdown, well, two knockdowns in the first round, one by, um, the more devastating knockdown of the two. Um, by Felix Verrera and Sullivan Barrera has been known to be somewhat, what is the saying called? Chinny or people are going to question his chin being down multiple times in his career in his biggest fight. Uh, Shabransky, who's fighting Kovalev tonight, knocked him out. By the way, the reason why he's not fighting Kovalev is because he said the money wasn't right. And what I've, what I've noticed is main events, the promoter, um, the promotional company, the perception is out there allegedly that they're strange with the change you know if you if you get where i'm going with that you know so there's still been you know questions about what kovalev made for the andre ward fight the the second fight that wasn't very successful where andre ward walked away with 6.5 million dollars or something like that and the arena was god awful empty. It's a shame, you know, because there was a big ass fight and I'm still pissed at boxing fans. But what we're doing is wait for them to read the scorecards. Let's see if they start it. Two. Michael Buffer stands at ringside with the official results. Let's hear it. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing here at Madison Square Garden, we go to the scorecards. Don Ackerman has it 98 to 88. Glenn Feldman scores at 97 to 90. And Tom Schreck. 97 to 89 all three scores to the winner by unanimous decision Sullivan Barrera So this time the judges are more or less in conformity with what Harold Letterman saw it was so um one thing about um Valera is I'm sure we're probably gonna see him on HBO again you know, don't be surprised if you see him versus Dimitri Bivol or something like that, because I don't think Sullivan Barrera is going to take that fight. Now, what Sullivan Barrera is going to do next is going to be interesting. Let's see if they um, show some highlights, because I'm wondering if he's going to go after Kovalev, because now that Andre Waters retired, you have three titles, the WBO, which is on the line tonight, that, um, that um, WBA, you know, Super World title, and the IBF title is now all those titles are out there. Wait a minute, no. Berta Biev is supposed to be fighting for the IBF title. The point I'm trying to make is this. The heavyweight division is good with young talent. Right now, by default, since Andre Ward is gone, Kovalev is the number one guy in the division. However, of course, you have a lot of people saying Dmitry Bivol, but he's not quite there yet. Even though he's on an accelerated path, you know, he's not quite there yet. Now, from a financial standpoint, you know, it's Sergey Kovalev. He's at the top, whether you want to um, argue what he's making or not. But when it comes to Sullivan Barrera, I'm sorry. I don't see Sullivan Barrera beating Sergey Kovalev. Because if Sergey Kovalev is doing what he's supposed to be doing, just like you've seen in the first Andre Ward fight and the first half of the second fight, but too much vodka in the bread basket. He was drinking during camp. Biggest fight in your career, you drinking during camp, talking all this shit, gas is out, you know? Andre Ward was beating him like a drum in that second fight. But what I'm saying is, uh, uh, Sergey Kovalev is a very good boxer. People just don't like him, you know, because of, you know, like things he said in the past, you know, his weird Russian sense of humor. I don't think that he's racist. You know, I think that he's racially insensitive, you know, but people just don't like him and then the excuses. But... What we've seen is that on his on his A game, on his best day, Duke can box. I'm talking about he was in there, you know, with the with the pound for pound champion of the world. You know, um Andre Ward, the first fight, laying hands on him, boxing him, outboxing him. You know, so that's what I get frustrated with boxing fans and a lot of boxing media sometimes is because they don't give these fighters, you know, their credit. But when it comes to Sir, like like the point I'm I'm, I'm going on this little Sergey Kovalev tangent right here is because the point is Sullivan Barrera 
is good. He's got some good skills. But noticing that he's been down in all of his big fights, let me pull it up to for you. You know, multiple times. You know, I just don't think. I just don't think. Damn it. Move this around. I could just go to the second scene, right? Do it that way. You know, look. Okay, of course he was down in this uh, Felix uh, Valera fight. He was down in the Joe Smith fight. He was down in the Jar Shabrinsky fight or, or Vojtislav Shabrinsky fight. Down in the Andre Ward fight. What other fights was he down in? I don't remember. I don't remember none of these. Down, you know, in 2014. So, going against a guy who's a known knockout puncher, you know, and I don't think that, you know, if Sullivan Barrera goes down, he's going to get back up because looking at it outside of Joe Smith, depending on where you uh, picture Joe Smith as a puncher, you know, Kovalev is harder hitter than these punchers, in my personal opinion. So Kovalev, well, you know, you go down by Kovalev, you're probably going to go out. And that right hand ain't no joke. You know, but just my personal opinion, man. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Of course, I got to, you know, now I got to uh, watch the Kovalev fight. And then um, I'm going to do a live stream after the Kovalev fight. We're going to talk about all the stuff. Please subscribe.